Legendary Pokemon are some of the strongest Pokemon around. They come in all shapes and sizes, learn different moves, different types and different abilities, everything like that. However, though, when you look at all of the different types, which is the best Legendary of each of them? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at who is the best Legendary Pokemon of each type. Now, of course, this is all my own opinion at the end of the day, and it is completely cool if you guys disagree with what I say in the video. Don't hesitate though to drop a comment down below about the video and if you found it interesting or not. Don't forget to leave a like on this video too to show your support and be sure to bring out a new video very shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to put to date and follow my Twitter to updates about the channel. Both of those links can be found in the description down below. Now without further ado, let's get into the video and I really hope that you guys enjoy. So starting things off we have the bug type and oh. Yeah, there's no legendary for the bug type. Well, there is kind of. We have Sil Valley with the bug memory disc. And before you guys are like, well, what about Arceus? Arceus is a mythical Pokemon, not a legendary. So we are unfortunately stuck with Sil Valley with the bug memory disc. Not much to say about this. We're still waiting for a bug legendary Pokemon. It's just Sil Valley with the bug typing. It's still got its normal stats and normal move pool and everything like that. All that really changes is its typing. So yeah, can't really talk too much about the bug legendary. Next up we have the Dragon type and it has to be Mega Rayquaza, it's just absolutely broken being able to Mega Evolve without needing a Mega Stone, so that means you can just Mega Evolve by using the move Dragon Ascent and then you can still hold an item as well, so whether you want to Band it or Scarf it or Spex it or Life Orb it, whatever floats your boat, Mega Rayquaza is an absolute monster with one of the best stat totals in the game as well. Next up we have the Ice type and in my opinion the best legendary Ice type is Curum White. Now we do obviously have Curum and Curum Black and Curum White, it's just I do believe Curum White is the better of the three. They both have pretty good stats in Curum White and Curum Black, don't get me wrong. It's just Curum Black is the more physical attacking Pokemon and Curum White is the more special attacking Pokemon and I feel like its move pool is definitely more targeted towards a special attacking Pokemon and can we just say how hard this Pokemon hits? I mean Curum White deals out damage like it's nobody's business but this Pokemon is just absolutely broken, hits super hard, quite bulky as well, it's just a very good Pokemon at the end of the day. Come up next we have the fire type legendary and in my opinion it has to be Ho-Oh. Fire type Pokemon are usually pretty good but Ho-Oh is definitely at the top of the ladder because Ho-Oh is just incredible. It's super bulky, hits really hard, has obviously some very nice unique moves with this Pokemon. The only downside is the fact that it is fire flying so Stealth Frogs have an absolute field day with this Pokemon so you're going to have to have some sort of hazard removal on your team if you are rocking a Ho-Oh. But Ho-Oh has reliable recovery, very very bulky, hits super hard, looks incredible. The shiny is incredible. I love everything about ho -Oh. It's a very, very good Pokemon at the end of the day. Next up, we have the Flying Type Pokemon. In my opinion, the best Flying Type Legendary is Ho-Oh's alter ego, Lugia, the Guardian of the Sea, even though it's not a water type. It is psychic flying, but of course, Lugia is incredibly bulky. We all know how annoying this Pokemon is to go up against in the competitive scene. It just eats hits. It can set up. It can recover again, just like Ho-Oh. Hits super hard with moves like Aero Blast. Just Ho-Oh and Lugia at the end of the day are just incredibly good mons and if they ever get a primal form it's kind of GG's, they don't need one because they're already that good but if they did ever get anything like that it would be absolutely crazy but no Lugia is so so annoying to take down, it's super difficult to take down, the fact that it gets recover and stuff like that just makes it even worse, it does take 25% from Stealth Rocks which of course is not as bad as the 50 that Ho-Oh does receive but still at the end of the day Lugia is an excellent mon and has got to be the best flying type legendary in my opinion. Next up we have the Grass type and there's actually only one Grass type legendary so the category of best legendary Grass type falls to Verizion. Verizion is of course a Grass fighting type Pokemon which is an okay typing, I mean it's got quite a few weaknesses but it gets some nice moves, gets some nice stab moves and all around is a good Pokemon, relatively bulky, hits nice and hard and it's yeah it's a good Pokemon, it's just got no other competition from any of the Grass legendaries because none of them exist and before you say what about Shaman, that's a mythical, just getting that out there. Coming up next we have the Ghost Legendary Pokemon and in my opinion the best Ghost Legendary is Giratina. There's obviously two Legendaries being Giratina and Lunala, I just do believe that Giratina takes this spot because it has a lot of bulk, it hits really hard, it obviously has its two forms and also Lunala is four times weak to Dark Time moves so it does not appreciate a knockoff at all. But Giratina in my opinion is just a little bit better, has nice bulk, has nice offense, it's just a good Pokemon at the end of the day. 
Next up we have the ground type and it just has to be primal Groudon. I mean this thing is an absolute monster. Its ability, desolate land to wash away all the water moves is just ridiculous. Has insane bulk, hits so hard and like I say it's four times weak to water but when desolate lands up doesn't even get affected by it, which is just absolutely broken. That shouldn't be allowed. But yeah, Primal Groudon being the best ground type legend, it just isn't even up for debate. It just is. <laughs> Next up we have the Electric type and in my opinion the best legendary Electric type Pokemon has to be Thunderous. Gets a really nice ability in Prankster, being able to get off T-Waves and stuff like that very quickly is very very nice. It of course has a very very nice special attack stat allowing you to get Thunderbolts off and everything like that, does a lot of damage. Has a nice move pool as well, a lot of different sets can be run on Thunderous. And at the end of the day it looks awesome, it has obviously the two different forms as well. Both forms are very very good. Definitely one of the better genies of the three in my opinion. Just a very, very solid Pokemon choice at the end of the day, but Thunderous is a very good Pokemon, which is why I do believe it is the best electric type. Come up next, we have the normal type Pokemon now. In my opinion, the best normal type has to be Silvalli, because obviously the only other one is Regigigigigigus. And that thing is just pure trash as we all know and of course Sil Valley was confirmed to be a legendary Pokemon it's obviously not as good as Arceus but Arceus is a mythical Pokemon guys as already stated in this video and we're talking about legendaries today but now Sil Valley has a very very nice move pool and yeah in my opinion it's just the best normal type legendary Come up next we have the poison type legendary and again there's not a poison type legendary yet I don't know why there just isn't yes we do have poison type ultra beasts in Poi Pole and Naganadal things like that but they are of course their own category they're not legendary Pokemon they are ultra beasts as it stands we have no legendary poison type which means that it has to just be Sil Valley with the poison memory disc again just like the bug type not really anything different it's just the typing and yeah it's just it's the only poison type legendary that we pretty much have at this point in time. Come up next, we have the Fighting Type, and now the best legendary Fighting Type has to be Mega Mewtwo X. It's got an incredible attack stat, incredible special attack stat, nice bulk, it's fast, has some really nice moves. It's just an absolute powerhouse of a Pokemon. It hits super hard, and as we all know, it's a Mega Evolved Pokemon. Yeah, Mega Evolutions are more powerful, it's not fair on the other Fighting Types, like the Swords of Justice, but at the end of the day, Mega Mewtwo X is part fighting, which is why it is the best fighting legendary in my opinion. Next up we have the Psychic type legendary, and it's the other Mega Mewtwo. Mega Mewtwo Y is one of the best Pokemon in the competitive scene. Side Strike hits like an absolute truck on anything. If you ain't a dark type, you're gonna be taking a lot of health, and it's not a good day at the office. Mega Mewtwo Y has an insane special attack stat. It's super fast, it isn't as bulky as Mega Mewtwo X, but at the end of the day, when you get a side strike from this dude, you're gonna wake up in the morning with a bad head because it's just gonna do that much damage. But as we all know, Mega Mewtwo Y is just ridiculous, which is why I do believe it is the best legendary psychic type. Coming up next, we have the Rock type Pokemon. Now, the best Rock type legendary, in my opinion, is Terrakion. It's Rock fighting, as we all know. It has some nice moves in close combat, has a nice physical attack stat. You know, all these legendary Pokemon are, of course, incredible because, you know, they're legendaries and we're doing the best legendary of each type. But yeah, Terrakion is just a nice Rock type. I'm pretty sure it's the only Rock type legendary as well anyway, so it doesn't have any competition. But yes, Terrakion is the best Rock type legendary, in my opinion. Coming up next, we have the best legendary water type, and it just has to be Primal Kyogre. This thing is an absolute monster. Primordial Sears' ability hits everything super hard with those stab moves. You know, it has a really, really nice move pool. It's super bulky, has a very nice special attack stat. And yeah, again, just like Primal Groudon, these Pokemon are absolutely wild. If any other legendaries in the future get Primal Forms, maybe in Gen 4 Remix or anything like that, they're gonna be absolutely amazing. But as of now, Primal Kyogre is the best water legendary in my opinion. Coming up next, we have the Dark Type Legendary. The best Dark Type Legendary, in my opinion, has to be Yveltal. Yveltal is an absolute monster. It hits super hard with Oblivion Wing and also gets that reliable recovery back from it. That does a lot of damage from that. It's very, very fast. It's a huge threat in the competitive scene with just because of how much damage it can do to anything, really, because nothing is immune to Dark. So yeah, it's just going to be doing a lot of damage to anything that comes in. But yes, Yveltal, in my opinion, is the best Dark Type Legendary Pokemon. Next up we have the Steel type. The best legendary Steel type in my opinion is Dialga. This Pokemon is Dragon Steel and resists 
so many types. And of course, it usually would be weak to fairy because of the dragon type, but then Steel's like, nah, I got you, pal. I'ma make it neutral. Of course, as we all know, Dialga is an absolute tank in the competitive scene. It's super bulky. As I say, resists loads and loads of different types. And it's just an all-round good Pokemon at the end of the day. Finishing things off though, we do of course have the fairy type, the best legendary fairy type in my opinion, ain't not of the Tapus, it's my boy Xerneas from Gen 6 when fairy types were introduced and it's all because of Geomancy, I mean we all know the set, I've spoke about it many times in previous videos, Geomancy is an incredible set with the wire herb, you just get that plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. It's a good day for Xerneas, and then you can pretty much sweep from there. It's just an absolute monster of a Pokemon. I love the design of it. It's incredible. That's why I do believe Xerneas is the best fairy type legendary Pokemon, in my opinion. But with that, though, it does wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you did enjoy the video, though, please do leave a like. I would really appreciate it. Like I said at the start of the video, I would also love to hear your guys' opinions too on the subject, so be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I do have a couple top fives coming to your screen in a second, so be sure to give them a watch if you do have the time, and also subscribe if you do enjoy my content. That's everything from me though guys, thank you so much for watching, have an amazing rest of your day, and until next time guys, peace.